Hello everyone. I am Dr. Sudhir Koganti, a consultant cardiologist working at Citizen Speciality Hospital Hyderabad. I do complex coronary interventions, heart failure work including assessment for transplantation and also structural heart disease including uh, TAVR procedures. Uh, TAVR means transcatheter valve replacement. Have you ever heard about replacing somebody's heart valve without opening the chest? That's TAVR. In TAVR, we replace a diseased aortic valve, a process which is called as aortic stenosis, with a newer valve. How do we know if somebody needs uh, aortic valve uh, diseased or uh, that needs repairing? It depends upon their symptoms, uh, i.e. history, ECG, and also 2D echocardiogram. Once we identify if somebody's got severe aortic stenosis and then needs replacement, we uh, assess if they're suitable for TAVR or not by doing a CT scan. Once the CT scan shows that uh, the access site and everything is suitable for a TAVR procedure, then we schedule them for TAVR procedure. TAVR procedure is pretty straightforward. Uh, if provided the CT um, findings are all uh, in line uh, um, and are not favorable. Uh, in TAVR procedure, which takes no longer than one to one and a half hour, it's scheduled in a cath lab and patient is often not even anesthetized. They are consciously uh, awake and then we go from the groin area, just like a stent procedure. It's just the tubes are slightly bigger and implant the newer valve, uh, finish it and come out. Pa patient usually uh, is completely awake by the time we finish the procedure. They walk the next day, move out of ICU the next day, spend a day or two in the room and then go home within three days time. And all they have to take is a one or two uh, a blood thinners along with their usual uh, medications. You may get confused. We use a lot of names in, when we say TAVI or TAVR. We say Edwards, uh, Evolute, Myval, Hydra, and so on. Uh, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, if a particular patient needs TAVR and they're suitable for TAVR based on the CT scan, we recommend the right valve for you, and then you can choose which one you want to uh, undergo. So, uh, if you were experiencing any symptoms such as uh, breathlessness or dizziness, get an evaluation with a cardiologist wherein they would do ECG and echocardiogram and find out if you've got aortic stenosis or not. On the other hand, if anybody told you you've got aortic stenosis and you need a uh, TAVR procedure, happy to uh, go through the data and uh, give you an uh, opinion. Thank you.